hello, it's Bunny Love. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking me out. If you would just be a sweetheart, hit that subscribe option right there. Next to the subscribe option is a little bell. If you could click on that bell, all the notifications for anything that I've uploaded for whenever will come straight to you. You'll know. And you can be up on whatever it is that I'm talking about for that day. Reviews and recaps. So... Let's get into the review and recap of last night's episode of My 600 Pound Life. What up, y'all? It's Bunny Love. Wanted to come to you with a little talk about Miss Miller Clark last night episode of My 600 Pound Life. Where are they now? Man, I tell you, that episode was just a breath of fresh air. It was just remarkable to see someone try as hard as she did i honestly don't believe that anybody on that show lost as much weight as she did she lost over 600 pounds i i just i'm floored i, I can't believe it I'm amazed 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 when they did her final weight um when they weighed her for the final the last time on that that episode final one and it was 150 some odd pounds. She comes from 800 pounds down to 150 something pounds. It's like, damn, if, if people can do stuff like that, anybody can do anything if you put your mind to it. And that's what we like to see. We like to see that when we watch the show. We like to see success stories. We like to see transformations. And it was just really, it was awesome because majority of the episodes this season were just straight garbage i hate to say it like that but it's just the truth they were garbage they were trash you had cast members that weren't trying made you wonder if they were just on there just to be on tv to try to get some recognition they weren't trying to do anything at all but miss miller clark has come a long way um there was only there's only one thing about her story overall that i really didn't like um not last night's episode but overall i didn't like in the very first beginning when she when she was as big as she was i didn't like how she had her children cleaning her up like that that that's the only thing about her story that irritated me um because those memories are going to be in those children's minds for the rest of their lives you know your intimate parts we we understand you can't clean them but try to get a caretaker or somebody that's not a relative or um or even if it's a relative not somebody that's not your children that, that's the only thing i didn't like she had her husband there and he couldn't really help her at the time because he was very very ill um god rest his soul he passed away and 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 that's what made the story her story better for me because as time progressed she still kept going even though she lost her husband and things of that nature she still kept on going and she lost all that weight and it was just amazing all of the surgery she had she had knee surgery um the skin removal surgery uh it was just she really endured a lot to try to bounce back and she did she was very successful very proud of her um she she is somebody that you really can look at and say, you know, if you're an overweight person and you think you can't do it, you can't get that weight off, all you have to do is just look at Miss Miller Clark. She totally has her life back. She went from being bed bound and 800 pounds to she's got her driver's license back now. She's driving again. She couldn't walk. She Her son says she wasn't walking for 13 years. She's walking. Um she's dating now she's got uh, a, a new love in her life uh, the children are very excited very happy for her um they're glad to have their mother back you know in one part of of last night's episode that i found um it, it was it was a little little comical to me but not in a bad way um when they went canoeing she took the children canoeing and she had put so much water in the canoe that, and, and the children were fussing at her. They were like, mom, you, it's too much water in here. And they ended up, um, well, she ended up falling out of the boat. And it wasn't real bad. She didn't, 
it wasn't like she was on the verge of drowning or anything like that, but she fell out of the boat, she got wet, and everybody's just like, oh, she fell out the boat. But just, just think about it though. Three years ago, she couldn't even do that. She probably wouldn't even have been able to fit into that boat. Matter of fact, I know she couldn't have, not at 800 pounds. So at where she was at, getting in the boat and canoeing and getting all of that water in her boat and all of that kind of stuff, and wasn't that big of a deal. If the kids tried to make it out to be a big deal, it wasn't that big of a deal. At least she could do that. So overall, she's getting her life back. She's getting her life back. Dating, driving, um, activities with the children. She's cooking now, you know, in the kitchen, not in her bed, not in her bed. That, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I hate when these people had to just cook from their bed. It's just, you're getting all those crumbs and food particles and all that stuff in your bed. But at the same time, at the same time, she's, she's on her way back to really, really, really living. And I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her. After all the hard, terrible, terrible episodes we saw this season of people that just were not trying, it was so good to see somebody that really tried and really wants to change their lives. And she did just that. She did just that. So congratulations. Congratulations to Miss Miller Clark. And that's pretty much all I had to say about this episode, you know. Um... Uh, the, the the really bad stories are the ones that take up 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes. But this wasn't a bad story. It was a really, really good story. And, you know, just, just happy for her. So, I am going to wrap this up. I want you guys to follow me on all social media. Um, my outro will have all of that information. And check me out next week for next week's review of my 600 pound life uh, review. I believe June is going to be one of the cast members that they're covering. I'm not sure of whoever else. But yeah, check me out next week. And um, thanks for watching. Peace and blessings.